Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Davey. This is BSL Hostile League Round of 32 Group G. Upper left hand corner, we've got Hedgek starting as the Orange Zerg, not getting the best split with, well, maybe decent adjustment right there. Bottom right hand corner, we got Krokon starting as the Blue Zerg. This is on Neo Dark Origin, which I am, I'm trying to think the last time I saw ZVZ on this. It's been a bit. A um, little bit more interesting because uh, ZVZ because you can see where Zerglings positioning around the middle ramp and also Zerglings running by every which direction makes and also uh the whoop, zoom out having the ramp positioning kind of way far back makes zergling floods a little bit less powerful um but uh yeah I'm, I'm interested to see what happens on this map in particular in zvz i'm gonna be honest uh Krokon, i believe was in previous season of hasu league he didn't stand out to me as one of those guys that was like incredibly strong, it's possible that he, he's still one of those guys that is, it could probably take it all the way. I mean, we saw him beat Hedgek last round. Looks like we're seeing a spawning pool and that was off a previous build. That was off the adjustment from game one. Spawning pool being dropped. So it looks like we're seeing a nine pool from Hedgek. Krokon dropping a quick extractor. So I think, ooh, this might be devastating for Krokon overall. So I think he's gonna try to play that quick extractor in base hatchery build or in base uh, quick lair build. So going extractor first to try to speed up that ga uh, that gas mining, but I believe an aspect of this is not building. So this, the pool comes out later, and an aspect of this is not building a lot of like I think any zerglings. I think you drop a sunken colony to try to defend this to start. We'll see if Hedgek ops. So previously when he was going for this nine pool, he was kind of having the lazy four zerglings make their way out. This time he looks like he might be saving larva. So the overlord spawning. Are we going to have the three larva? We got the three larvae saved, spawning pool finished, and it looks like we are gonna have Zerglings making their way this direction. So despite my early concerns that Zerglings might not be effective on this map, instead might be a really quick win. So quick gas. If if the Sutton Colony gets dropped in the main. Nope, quick lair, two Zerglings. Part of the issue though is this is a large map, so there still might be time for Krokon to continue to build these Zerglings. And as a result, he very likely might be able to defend against Hedgek. He just needs to delay a little bit, and there's the creep colony. And this actually, ooh, this could be disastrous for Hedgek overall. Now I'm looking at this, this is potentially uh might knock Hedgek out, we'll see. Because with the Sunken Colony and the Zerglings to field for it, and the very, very rapid layer, what is Hedgek gonna do? This layer is coming out so much later. And Zerglings, yeah, we already got four Zerglings. It's four versus six, but he's got to go up the ramp. And so now the concerns about the Zerglings are starting to field. He's able to open it up, but the Sunken Colony's finished. And does Hedgek recognize that, is he going to be able to wander in and re recognize the layer timing? Yeah, ooh, okay. So now he's going to have to maybe play, can he even transition to Evolution Chamber as far as a follow-up? Additional Zergling in the field and a few more fielding down. Going to try to poke at the edges here. Still not able to get any drones, so this might be a Krokon win overall. Yeah, two Zerglings remaining, and Krokon with the very, very... Ignore what I said earlier, this is almost like a straight counter build to the Nine Pool, so... Things looking dire. Hedgek just now, so it's going to be a bit of a delay on the Spire. It's pretty close, actually, as far as the Spire timings. Slight edge for Krokon overall. Let's see if he goes for an in-base additional hatchery. He's dropping another creep colony, actually. Interesting. That will give him a superior ground defense comparative to Hedgek. But Hedgek now wandering out and going to go ahead and grab his natural expansion. So I'm wondering if Krokon's actually kind of drop is screwing up the follow-up here. Because right now, Krokon is a drone up, which is huge. But right now, uh, canceling the creep colony, but this drone right here is remaining idle. So he's not getting any advantage out of it. He's got more idle drones here. That's two idle drones. Okay, now dropping that. Yeah, when I've seen this prior, it was the, the follow up was the additional in base hatchery. Four Zerglings versus two making their way up. Few additional Zerglings being produced. Spire on the way. And this can also be an additional defense. There's something about that green ooze all around it. I would like to see the purple ooze. So it would make more sense it's purple because it's all purple on the ground, right? It's like purple slime. Why is it turned? Maybe it's like spawning pool, pre-spawning pool, whatever not. Anyway, 
some sort of gastric acid. Zergling surrounding that hatchery, going to get some free damage. That's as the spire is finished, which means it's going to be a larva used for zerglings rather than mutilisks, which theoretically here gives Krokon the air. Well, in actuality, gives Krokon the air advantage. The zerglings trying to pull off by some time that hatchery in the red. Is it going to get wiped out? At least one egg finish. Now the four Zerglings make the way. This is going to be close. 26, 22, 19. It survives. But just to sneeze away. And Hedgek, I don't know how he's going to protect this hatchery against the Mutalisks. Because the Mutalisks can just walk in, take a fight over it. And that's going to be that. So second hatchery finishes. That's going to be additional larva for Krokon to work with. Second gas being dropped from Hedgek immediately, but honestly, this feels a bit optimistic. The Zergling's flooding out. I, I believe that is wise. because he, But Krokon, despite all of that damage to the Hatchery remaining in the main, where he has the defensive advantage, I'm a little bit shocked he's not moving these Mutalisk out more aggressively, given the situation where Hedgek has to play more defensively. This is allowing Hedgek to build the Mutalisk count back up. The Krokon is up that single drone, however, so that economy, in theory, will play out. But what matters more for Zerg versus Zerg is the gas right here. Now Hedgek has that second gas mining and is filling in some Scourge as well. Krokon still with the overall supply lead and maybe just resting on his laurels here, thinking, well, if I just sit back, I'll be fine. Granted, this is still a weakened hatchery, and so he's got a lot of space to work with, but this is also giving Hedgek an opportunity to equalize and potentially outpace that air force. So six mutalisk in the air on this side, but much more mutalisk on the opposite side from Krokon. He just had so much gas stored up from that nine pool opener. So despite having the more Eon, yeah, Hedgek having to, I forgot about that aspect. So still trying to push that out. Now he's moving up. Hedgek's going to have his work cut out for him. Needs to ma have magnificent. So he's going to be down two mutalisk in open field. He looks like he's going to have a good amount of scourge out to work with this and i think that is the wise thing to do given how weak that hatchery is so looking to engage crocon botching the micro and oh so many scourge landing but is it sufficient it's six versus seven still two additional scourge in between crocon trying to move in the space of that so i do believe so hedgic down a mutalisk but at a closer reinforcement point and still has scourge to work with so now the mule's trying to move in take the hatchery out but Krokon loses his air superiority as a result of it. Now let's see if, if Hedgek can just turn around and micro and wipe out the Scourge. Oh, it's going to be rough. Okay, loses a Mutalus to that. Second Mule is taking heavy damage, trying to angle his, back, his way back around. So loses two Mutalus, but that's still going to be three remaining. So still has air control. Some Scourge countering Scourge now at the natural. Another hatchery waiting to get dropped. That's a huge economic hit. Krokon... In the meantime, getting an evolution chamber down at his main. Interesting. Maybe wanting to do a Zergling switch or flood. Pressing up Scourge. This is still anybody's match. Krokon down in supply, up in drones. An inferior air fleet, but still has larva and enough gas. Getting a spore colony down to protect his main now. Purpose of the evolution chamber. That's a little bit shocking. And now walking out to maybe grab his natural expansion with the drone of his own, but that's still going to be behind. Additional Scourge getting wiped out, and actually Hedgek now, with that turnaround, might just end up in such a superior situation where he's just got so many Mutalisks that it's going to be insurmountable despite... So he's got three Mutalisks outright the second. There are, again, keep in mind more larva, a wave of drones being created from Krokon to try to just have a stronger economy. So he's just folding back, and he's going to play, it looks like, strong into the spore defense. Some Zerglings wandering out to the three o'clock. That natural expansion checked by the Zerglings. So that's going to get denied. Now Hedgek has that gas. If Hedgek can hold and get that full hatchery back up, keep his air force going, he's going to have access to that second gas. And Krokon, look at this, trying to be sneaky and going for a base top right. Will Hedgek find it is the next question. So Zerglings making their way across the bridge. getting wiped out and second base is up and drones starting to produce there at the natural expansion more mutalisks huge supply lead for hedgic but he's down a lot of drones there's the evolution chambers out there 
and he's got this sneaky hatchery being built top right. So a lot of this is going to come down to how well can Cro oh can Hydro Sten. So Crocon going for trying to go for the tech switch on top of it, but this is oh I, I've rarely seen this work from the reverse situation. Also going for the yeah that spines upgrade. This is too little too late in my opinion. The spire exposed, drones exposed on that edge. Spore colony is just out of position. Gas has been halted. And is a single, are we gonna have something? Looks like we do have some mutilus able to get into the back position, but this might end up resulting in an all in from Hedgic. So yeah, he's just working on the spore colonies. Mutilus decimating the back lines. So now it's an elimination match, both directions. And I think Hedgic might have the air fleet to still get it done. Hydro's being produced. Zergling's now running in. Let's see if the mules focus. So they're going to focus initially on the Hydralisks. They can focus down that sunken colony that allowed the Zerglings to get in play. That's part of the problem with mules is mules do not do well against Zerglings on the ground. Spore colony not going to end up finished. Four drones for Hedgic someplace. It looks like they're still mining at the main. Looks like they're reproduced there. 14... For Krokon, Krokon might win this simply because he's got that base top right that he can rebuild at. Scourge being produced on site. Still a lot of troops. The creep Colony is not going to get there in time. Krokon still going to GG it right there. I'm actually a little bit surprised that there was that GG despite the hatchery in top right. But Edgic wins what ended up being a best of three in the initial match and he will advance. Being informed by chat that overgas is a soft counter to nine pool. I have now learned that and will commit that to memory. Mental note. There's so many builds in ZVZ, you'd think. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Fun one. This was a great matchup. This is what I'm talking about. This is just the round of 32 and the round of 16 is coming up. Thanks for listening, everybody.